Welcome everyone to the new episode of the 90th Minute. I'm Liam, that's Lucas, and this is Waz. And uh, today's our 10th episode of the show so far. It's our second episode of the World Cup like match day review. So uh, let's get it started. You know, Group A action, Russia and Egypt were going at it. It was actually during our last video. Uh, we were watching it live and commentating on it. What did you see, Lucas? Just Russia, just coming out of nowhere. <laughs> First no half was a little dull from what mm-hmm. I was seeing through mm-hmm. the muted TV. But yeah. Russia just blew blew up in the second half. Who saw this Russia team coming? Oh, I saw them going through the group. Yeah, you, you he predicted them going through. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I didn't I expected either. the same team from 2016, just awful. Yeah. But no, I mean, the well done, kudos, uh, you know. They obviously have a decent coach in place, a decent system, good players coming through the Russian academy kind of thing. Home crowd definitely yeah. bring yeah, up of the course, players. Yeah, but so, you know it's it, it's it's, cr- it's incredible it's to the see. Russian yeah. atmosphere, you know, it's, it's good. Like, you know, it's good to see a the Russians are running well. rampant, and uh, I like seeing that a lot. And it's, <laughs> it's got a nice uh, phrase. But yeah, we we mentioned there are predictions. Um, if you haven't seen our episode, go back and find it or look at our twitters or anything like that. We did a full review episode or full prediction episode. Every single group and everything like that. And uh, yeah, only Lucas had Russia going through. Now they are playing Uruguay. You had Egypt. I did have Egypt. And I had Saudi Arabia. Yeah, you, you Neither. messed it up worse than I did, I Qu- believe. Honestly, I'm, who's going to win that game? Or is it going to be a, a draw? Watch well, it be the first goal is draw the tournament. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Honestly, I wouldn't Has either. either team scored? This, have the Saudi Salah scored? scored a- yeah, Salah yeah. scored. Yeah. Yeah. Have the Saudi scored? I don't believe so. No. Oh, boy. My prediction went to crap. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Wait till yeah. later. There's a few predictions that went to crap. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. But, uh, but yeah, go back and review that. Watch that. It's a really good and episode. Do you think the Russians are raising some conspiracies? Because, you know, the Russians have a, you know, a habit of that. Don't toss the... Don't, through, don't soil the Russian name like that. I mean, They're the okay. Russians have been play, playing great. Kudos to them. And, you know, mm-hmm. you never know with the Russians because they've had uh, in the past some mm-hmm. yeah. question well, marks raised. It repeats itself. Like so. Yeah, I guess. But Russia play Uruguay is it tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that that'll decide first place in the group. Huge game. I will who, go, do you, who do you see winning that one? I'm was? going two one Uruguay. I think they just got more quality. But yeah, I mean the Russians you never know. wrong. Lucas. I saw Russia finishing second in the group, mm-hmm. but I see I see them winning this game. It's just they have all this momentum. Yeah, yeah. Any particular scoreline? I don't know. I, f- I feel like they're going up a team that actually knows how to defend. Yeah, that's true. You, you know, Jimenez. This certainly could be the nil-nil game. Yeah. Maybe, you know, Jimenez and Godin have played like, yeah, amazing. Yeah, they've been doing so. fantastic so far. And, you know, you got Uruguay. You have Uruguay as Cavani and Suarez. So yeah. it's like, it's a double-edged sword almost. Mm-hmm. So. so, any score? I'll go with Russia. I'll say 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one Russia. So 2-1 Uruguay, 2-1 Russia. <sighs> I'll I'll be a bit bold and go three one Uruguay. I you know, I think I, I part of me really wants to see Russia do well just because you know the home team mm-hmm. no one saw it coming that kind of thing, but I think there'll be just plenty of quality from Uruguay just to go through. And I think they're I think they're finally starting to hit their stride a bit. You know, I mean I was just, I was just gonna say since um we're going into the final match day of the group stage, there's mm-hmm. gonna be four games a day now. Yeah. Until the knockout stage. How good is that? How good is it to have I mean, four games to well, watch? If you don't have two TV screens. Or well, true. I mean, what you're gonna just live stream one, have one on your TV. Yeah. Live tweets yeah, exactly. on Twitter. Kind Perfect. Of thing. I'll probably do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I love watching games where I have like the laptop, you on the TV mm-hmm. going, the phones, like, it's great. You yeah, know? man, I love you it. Feel connected with the world in exactly. a sense. Exactly. Let's move on to the next game. So from the Uruguay Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one finished 1 0 for Uruguay. Yeah, yeah. Pretty simple. Mm-hmm. Saudi Arabia didn't really, they were trying their best. They did much better than yeah. the Russia for game. For me, yeah. one, one of the tournament disappointments, obviously, you know, I had them second in the group. But <laughs> you okay there, Lucas? <laughs> Clearly, uh, Lucas, you okay? Can we, Anyways, can we zoom in on that one? <laughs> Clearly, the Saudis have disappointed just like the Egyptians have, so. Yeah, I mean, well, I had Egypt last, so I got, at, least, at least I got that right. I had them second. I thought they could do something. <laughs> so, um, I, I think I think they still could do something if they had been in a better mm-hmm. kind of frame of mind. I thought there was so much drama going in before the tournament started. And even during the tournament, too. Yeah, but lots we'll, of... Yeah. We might talk about that later yeah, in the we'll podcast yeah. or in a separate video yeah. that we'll release on YouTube. Yeah, there's so, a, there's a lot of drama going on with Mohamed Salah. Good, good for Liverpool. They, they get their man back early. Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah. But their real man is still in the tournament. 
Is he? Dejan Lovren. <laughs> he's going he, far. He's been fantastic. <laughs> but we'll get on to him yeah. later on. Uh, move on to Group B. Group B. Who do we got, Lucas? Well, you guys want to say anything else about Group B? Or? No. No, yeah, it's okay. been pretty standard. Good football. That's about it's it. Okay. I mean, except for the Saudis and Egyptians. But from the other two sides, okay. quality. So, yeah. Uruguay, Russia, they're going through. Yeah, it just depends on who's first, who's second. Won't worry about that table too mm-hmm. much. Yeah. But that's the key game to watch tomorrow. So, moving on to Group B. So, we did talk about these matches last video or mm. last podcast. Obviously, and Portugal, they beat Morocco mm-hmm. 1-0. Not that, uh, not, not a great I, show. No, I mean, bullet of header from Ronaldo quality. Ronaldo's, he's stepping up for Portugal. He but, scored every single goal you know, for them so far. For the Portuguese fans, it's a little bit of concern. Like, where's did, the rest of the team? Did yeah. they deserve this one? I don't think they deserve the win. I think they deserve a draw. Mm-hmm. I think I think if that was the first goal of this draw of the tournament, people would have been okay and with see, it. See, I, I don't really view Portugal the, the, the best of sides in this tournament. I think this may prove mm-hmm. my point a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. But then again, I had Morocco second in the group because I, I, did, I didn't you know rate Portugal too much. No, that's the thing. Yeah, You had so, Portugal going third, right? Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, and I had Iran... Last, yet yeah, they're on the brink of maybe going into the... Well, I think I think a lot of people were shocked by that. I think a lot of yeah. people did have Morocco finishing above Iran, whether in third or second it's, or whatever. It's a huge match tomorrow. But, uh, it is, yeah. Iran, Portugal, I'm looking forward to it because... I think Iran it, can it, get it. There get is an upset on the brink. Uh, what would a draw result? Uh, let's look at the table then. Yeah. So I have the table right in front of me. Great. And Group B, Spain have four points. Portugal have four points. Iran have three points. Yeah. So but, a draw will come down. No, a draw will, will put Portugal through. Yeah. Yeah. Unless if Spain loses to Morocco. So, I mean, I, I hope I, Iran wins just because I'd like to see an, an underdog go through. And, mm-hmm. you know, Portugal's a good team, but I feel like just maybe yeah. don't deserve to go through. But Can we talk about Iran's game against Spain? Yeah, that was well, an how, impressive, how that, uh, yeah. impressive performance yeah. by yeah, them. Because I think that shows a lot of what Iran can do. And it foreshadows what I think they can do against Portugal. Yeah, like, I think mm-hmm. because of the, the result against Spain, I think they can go on and beat Portugal. Spain just didn't look that good in that second half. No, yeah. They were just letting them, Iran come towards mm-hmm. them. And Iran equalized, but it was just slightly offside, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. I think if Iran had slightly better quality in this tournament, they'd be... A decent enough team. They're, I, they're almost there. You know? I feel like their best player. He came off the bench like in the second yeah. half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if he's the best, their best player, but he showed up in that game. Yeah. So it's I don't know how to pronounce it. it starts with a J. That's we'll have his saying. name on the bottom. Group of the B has been very entertaining, and it's it's been interesting to see where it goes it tomorrow. Been, yeah. it, tomorrow will be an interesting one. There's um, there's a lot of good games coming at this World Cup. You no, know? I I want Iran to win. I want them to go through just for the you know the headlines. But you know you I just, feel, just I, I, I just I just I, I just feel like you know Portugal's gonna. Go through anyway. Yeah, so. I think Spain and Portugal will go through. Yeah, they but should, yeah. it won't be comfortable for them, but they'll go through. Another yeah. Ronaldo hat trick. Actually, you know, Spain can end up going out too. Uh, oh, Morocco. Yeah. I mean, really... like, Morocco might want to get play for pride, but yeah, Morocco have to play some of the best football in this tournament. Yeah, they look. They and their coach is a good looking guy too. <laughs> They're, They're all good looking guy for... guys. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Morocco, they just don't have a number nine. That's yeah, their problem yeah. in this tournament. Yeah, just, they, I mean, I think. Again, it's one of those teams. Again, it's like if they have slightly better quality, yeah. they'd be something. But they're they're just not there. They're almost, but just not. You know. Uh, maybe this will get their manager a job somewhere in Europe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, knows. potentially. Yeah, then that's what I like about you know looking at these World Cup teams because players and coaches come out of nowhere almost. Yeah. James Rodriguez from the last one, right? Mm-hmm. So Group C, I think. Yeah. All right, nice yeah. Group C. So we good got France, here. Denmark, Australia, okay. and Peru. Some good games here. Yeah, it's it's a shame Peru's out. It is a shame. Yeah, it's hard for the They play great, exciting football, and you know I feel like they're a team that kind of deserve to go through. But they play nice, attractive ga- yeah, uh, game. Yeah, I think the luck. I think they have good players. Yeah, they just have bad luck. Almost. Yeah, they just couldn't finish their chances. No, that that's a big thing. Especially yeah. against Denmark, they had plenty. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately for them, they're eliminated. Unfortunately yeah. for the Peruvians, it's kind of sad. But uh, who's currently going through in that group? France is for sure through yeah. two mm-hmm. ones already. They're not looking that good in my opinion. Not yeah, not that solid. Yeah, no. I think they are tinkering with their lineup a little bit. They're I think just edging their victory. I think really. with Giroud starting, it adds another. Like I think it adds something to their team. Mm-hmm. But then again, I think how do you keep out Mbappe? Or, you know, like. They have almost too much talent for that team. You gotta find such a perfect mm-hmm. eleven. I'm just annoyed that they have so much talent, but their manager Deschamps, 
they're just playing defensive against yeah. Yeah. against Peru. You have some of the greatest attacking players in the world. Forward. Yeah, and I think that's why Didier Deschamps and is not a good enough manager. One of the, one of the best midfielders. Well, yeah, not the best, but like some of the best midfielders. Yeah, their in the midfield world. is outstanding. Paul Pogba, yeah. like on paper and the individual skill, he's very good. But yes. recently, he's just maybe not been playing to his heights. Yeah, I'd agree. He's not up to you know, his full ability. But I think that comes down to also a bit of Mourinho, a bit of yeah. United, a bit of the system they're trying to play. Um, Everybody knows what he's capable of. Yeah, but I, but I think N'Golo Conte beside him continues to just shock the world and <laughs> how good he is, you know, because he's uh, yeah. he, he keeps on doing amazing things, no matter mm-hmm. if he's for France or Chelsea or anywhere, you know. Yeah, and year by year, he's improving other parts of his yeah. game. Yeah. He is, yeah, but he's still that guy who, who can also win all those tackles and yeah, intercept the ball. Yeah. I mean, Paul Pogba, he's a, he's a game-changing player. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, you, you saw parts of that with United this season when, you know, the City game, for example. Yeah, he yeah. stepped up when he had to, but... When you guys actually attack. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but I feel like if he was un- in a team mm-hmm. that w- w- attacked more... That went yeah, forward, yeah. Honestly. He, but, and, okay. Under a coach who's a better, mo- like, I'm I'm going to say Klopp, but not because... I don't know. I, I feel like you always hear that players always start praising Mourinho. And like, oh, players love yeah, Mourinho. Yeah, apparently, but like... But the thing I don't like about him like is... Him. He plays not to lose instead of playing to win. Yeah. Jurgen Klopp, for example, is, is more than okay with going out, playing his brand of football, playing an exciting attacking game, and losing a 2-1 game. As long as they play well. Exactly. Mourinho goes, nah, I'm not okay with that. I'll win one nothing and just and park like, the I bus. I feel like Pogba should be, be he should be being ah, be compared to Dorian a little bit more. He should be at De Bruyne's level. He should. You know, like, I, I think. Not. I think they're slightly different. Cause I think De Bruyne is more of like that final pass guy. When I see Pogba as a build-up man, maybe that's just the, yeah. the United system. I don't know, but I see him more of like winning the ball and then mm. driving it forward, almost similar to Jordan Henderson. They, not <laughs> no, but you know what I mean, wow, right? That's... You know what I mean? I though. mean, Jordan Henderson's had a good World Cup so far. Yeah, he so. went to a Champions League final. <laughs> yeah, good. He, he likes to do this a lot. I'm yeah. pointing at Liam right yes. now. He's a leader, so and he likes to yell at people. He likes to go sideways too. So yes. I mean, hopefully Peru get a win because I feel like this is. Yeah, I think they deserve least. that. Yeah, do it for the fans because I feel like yeah. the fans. Let's talk, let's talk about Australia for a little bit. Australia. The Aussies. They've been, they've been okay. Yeah. The Aussies. Lots that, of VAR for Aussies. Yeah. But that Arzani guy that came on in the second yeah, half, yeah, yeah. he's like 19 years old. Mm-hmm. Looked really impressive to mm-hmm. me. Yeah. And he's been getting a lot of interest from clubs in Europe. Miles mm-hmm. Yednak oh, has yeah. scored, I think, the last 17 penalties he's taken. He scored all of them. Mm-hmm. That is cool under pressure. Yeah. Forget Ronaldo. Mm-hmm. This is the guy you want to yeah. take your, your penalty shootout. Guy, exactly yeah. the same penalty in the France game. Like, yeah. It yeah. Just same spot. Rolled up the net as well. Mm-hmm. How good is Tom Rogic in that midfield? If you don't know Tom Rogic, go YouTube him. Man, he's a good right, midfielder. Moy's been uh, playing well for... Moy? 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 I don't know. Aaron Moy. So, yeah. Or Moy. <laughs> and, you know, Aussie, the Aussies are okay. The one-punch man. Yeah. <laughs> they too bad Tim Cahill hasn't, yeah. hasn't scored a screamer this World Cup. Is he like 45? No, he's, he's like an aging dinosaur. 30, he's like 36, 38, something like that. Yeah. If Australia beat Peru, Denmark yeah. loses to France... Honestly, I'm not that impressed by Denmark in this tournament. I feel like they're a yeah, little lucky to be in second. I think they've been okay. I think they're relying a lot on a good goalie. There have been goalie. a lot better teams than them in this tournament. I think they're relying on a good goalie in Kasper Schmeichel. Mm-hmm. I think Eriksson, yeah, he's okay. I know you like him. You're a yes. big fan of Christian Eriksson. He's okay. Uh, I feel I, like you just don't rate midfield that much. I do. It's just, But uh, it's just oh, not that midfielder. <laughs> just... I just don't like seeing all the hype that he's saying. People are saying he's world class, yeah. and then all the other players haven't showed up either. But okay, but here's the thing: so you you consider and Waz considers Ericsson world class, and same with Luka Modric. Yeah, are they comparable not- players? <laughs> That's what you're saying, though. If they're both world class, <laughs> they're both comparable players. I don't they're think not. Ericsson's even close. Not yeah, I, not I mean, he's not as close to Luka Modric. Luka Modric's in his own little world. Like, like last year in Tottenham, I remember seeing. Spurs fans complain like Ericsson's just passing the ball sideways yeah. too much. Maybe I just don't watch enough uh, Ericsson or Spurs. So. Yeah, I mean, no, well, you're you're allowed your opinion. Yeah, obviously. I think it's very. I, good. I think he's a good midfielder. Yeah. I think he's good for Tottenham. I think he's he's helping Denmark do lots of good. But I don't think he's 
at the level of what you say. Uh, to be fair to Waz, like a lot of people online think he's world class. Yeah. Like I was surprised to see how many people thought mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. Even FIFA, like his yeah. rating on the Foot World Cup mode is eighty nine. Yeah. He bit. plays well for Denmark, but in qualifying, if you're playing against some maybe the farming teams, <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, do you who do you see going through second in that group? I see Denmark going through, although. I've enjoyed. I haven't enjoyed watching them play. Denmark's no. playing who? Australia. So that that was the game for second. That's yeah, another Australia, good game. Uh, Australia. Well, I think they go through if they win one nil because uh, they have more goals. Mm. They'd have more goals for. So I'd rather see Australia go through. I don't think Denmark played Australia. You're you're right because I am yeah, looking that, at the that standings. That was the one one draw. Played mm-hmm. Peru. Yeah. No, so, Denmark played France. Sorry. Yeah. So I'm saying France beat Denmark. Which opens the door for Australia to beat Peru. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it could happen. Goal they, difference. Yeah. You know. If France beat Denmark 1-0 and Australia beat Peru 1-0, they have the same goal difference. Yeah. But Australia would have more more goals for. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it'll be an interesting one. And, you know, that's it, like these all of these groups now are coming down to a goal differential mm-hmm. or one point here or there. That's why you have to keep your eyes on both matches. Yeah. And it, it, it's, it's such a big... Statement to these teams that are dropping points so early on, like the first game. Mm-hmm. Look how crucial they are at the end. You know, you have to get every point possible in the World Cup. It's not like Portugal in the Euros, <laughs> where they can drop a ton of points and still make it through. Yeah, they got and third. Miraculously win the tournament somehow. But guys, anything else to say about Group C? Go Australia. Yeah, that's all I gotta um, say. Go France. I have them. Well, win France the are Cup. through already. Don't yeah, worry. Don't worry yeah. about that. Go Australia. All right, Liam, you want to start this rant? No, I mean, okay. Group D, big talking about Argentina, of course. I I was going off on Twitter, <laughs> yes, a few days ago. I don't. I I want to. I want to I wanna look more in depth of like Argentina from the World Cup final twenty fourteen to where they are today. What has happened in those four years? Okay. Because what a mess has become. What questions do you have? What players left? What players came in? Why is there such a big difference in you know, the, the style of play? Is the coach the right decision? Or is he completely at fault for this? Federation at fault? You know, is Messi becoming less of a deciding factor for Argentina than he was last World Cup? It all, I know? think it all starts at the Federation at the top. Yeah, yeah. And all trickles down because when Messi initially retired, mm-hmm. there was other players that wanted to retire as well. Yeah, there's a lot wow. of drama going on within the, the squad and everything. And yeah. like they're blaming the Federation and mm-hmm. and there has been a lot of different managers during their qualifying campaign. Yeah. I think they had three. Yeah. If and I'm not mistaken. The Sao Paulo, the current manager. Is he good enough? He's I thought he was good enough before the tournament because he impressed me when he was at Sevilla. Yeah. But I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he he's got these exceptional players and half of them, three of them started on the bench. I, I yeah. said that to you both. Dybala, Higuain, and Di Maria are all like, on the bench. Di Maria didn't even see a single minute against Croatia. Like, I don't You're talking st- about one of those exciting wingers in the world right now. And no, you to be fair, to Di Maria was crap in the first game. But you, yeah, have, to trust, true, yeah. you have to trust he has the, the ability to do more. Well, I mean, he should have started Dybala. Dybala. Oh, I mean, he's, he's a young, raw but, but talent What still, they were like, saying was, because Dybala would take Messi's position, Messi's better. I'm sorry. I, I don't, what position like, does Messi play for Barcelona? He plays right wing. Yeah. Put him on the right wing. I mean, Messi can play center forward striker. He can play... Number 10. Yeah, I'm like, He can honestly. play anywhere along that, that front. And I don't want to sound ing- ignorant here, mm-hmm. but who the heck is Meza? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I, I had a couple friends you know, during the match with me and Lucas, and uh, everybody's wondering, who's Meza? Yeah. Some of players nobody really knows. I understand, okay, they play well in Argentina. That's great. But there's a reason why players are playing in top how, leagues in Europe. How does... Javier Mascherano, who is late 30s playing in China, mm-hmm. have a starting role on this team. Think of the players that could go into that spot. Like, like, like you change your formation and fit in all that talent well, If you anything, have. I would, the two players I'd maybe keep, like, Aguero, Messi. I don't know who else you would leave in the lineup. Other, I, you'd I, have to put your big four up there. Yeah, you, you put in Dybala, Aguero, Messi, Di, Di Maria. Di Maria, and then, Higuain. I mean, other than that, you like... You can't have too many attackers. I know. It's going to break the flow. But you need goals. Oh, yeah, definitely. They need to beat Nigeria yeah. 3-0 minimum. No. 
Yeah. No. I'm fairly sure. You are wrong, Liam. Who? Oh, do they have to beat him by? Unless if Iceland beat Croatia, Argentina okay. just need to win. But won't it come down to goal differential? Right now, Croatia have six points. Okay. Nigeria have three. Iceland have one. And Argentina have one. Oh, okay, fair enough. Sorry. So if Argentina wins and Iceland don't win, mm-hmm. Argentina goes through. And Iceland's playing who? Croatia. So you would take Croatia there, right? Because I think Croatia have looked really good so well, far. Well, if you looked at my yeah. predictions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then, then again, Hello. then again, <laughs> Iceland, who knows what they're going to do on the day, right? Yeah, you never know. Iceland, they, Iceland might have a great performance. We never know. With I them. don't really rate Iceland that much. I know you don't, but I, I think I, I, we both had them bottom of the group. Yeah. But then again, they might have a great performance. Like they did the first game against against Argentina. But going back to I the mean, Argentinian problem, Diego Maradona's coming out saying he wants to yell at the team before the game. Do what it. good? What good does that solve? I, I kind of. You had Maradona your chance. Maradona needs to get in there. He, he had his chance last World Cup. Twenty ten. Yeah, or twenty ten. Yeah. So he was their head coach. Did nothing. And call, apparently, I read this on Reddit, so I don't know how true this is. Yeah. But apparently, was, he yeah. called up a player that he saw in his dream that when he won the World Cup, he saw a player's face. And that was the only one he recognized, so he called him up. Sampoli? No. No, Maradona. Maradona? No, Maradona? Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, wow. Maradona's a great player. I think he's arguably my favorite player of all time, but not a good coach. Not a guy you want running your country's national team. Back to Messi, though, the current greatest of all time. Yes. No. Well, okay. We talked about Portugal. We talked about how Ronaldo scored every single goal for his team so far. I'm not comparing Ronaldo and Messi because, you know what? They're not comparable players. They're different players. They have different roles. They have different roles, club and, and international. But what I'm saying is the X factor that Messi brings to Argentina is not anywhere the same X factor Ronaldo does. I counter I with mean, this. Okay. 2014 World Cup, mm-hmm. Lionel Messi won the, the golden ball, yeah. was influential in his team's mm-hmm. run to the final. Mm-hmm. Ronaldo, 2014, kicked out of the group stage. Mm-hmm. 2006. He was pretty good there. But, mm-hmm. <laughs> but let, let, let's look at the team around him. Name, I mean, name yeah. Portugal's second best player. Well, Portugal's team were, you could argue, were better in 2014 and 2010. Eh. I, I, yeah, I feel like Nanny. I feel like Argentina's <laughs> only strong point is limited offense. When you look on paper. Yeah. When I mean, you look at the rest when, of the team, when, it's like, okay. When Nicolas Otamende is I your feel best like, defender, I, I feel a like problem. Portugal is a little bit built better around, all around, like defenders, midfielders. So I think, I think Ronaldo's had a better team around him. Maybe where, not like no one's. There's no second Ronaldo or goal scoring threat yeah, on like, Portugal other when, than Ronaldo. When you talk about Argentina, you're you're also thinking Dybala, Aguero, Di Maria. When you're talking Portugal, you're like, well, Pepe and yeah. Quaresma and I mean they they all play well together. They seem to click, I guess, but not to the point I just, where I just don't see Messi having his impact for his country. And what can what can Messi do when their goalie just? Oh, oh, that's I true. Agree. Willie, I agree. He's been awful. His team has been dreadful. Or when Higuain misses a chance in the final multiple times in different competitions. Mm, his team has not been good enough for him, but I feel he also has not been good enough for his team. I mean, Higuain could have won the World Cup for Argentina, and you see yeah. Adair, like, you see Adair in the Euro Cup final just take a shot out, no yeah. goal. Yeah. Like so, history could be so much different with small moments like yeah. these. Oh, They're is. big moments yeah. in hindsight now. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. I'm not saying Messi's not a good player. Because I, I, I'm not blind. I mean, I feel <laughs> he's like... He's a brilliant player individually. He's a brilliant uh, player for Barcelona. And you know what? He is a brilliant player for Argentina for what he did at the last World I Cup. I mean, personally, in my opinion, I think Messi and Ronaldo are going to go down as the two greatest players of all time. In my opinion, people are just too reactionary. Yeah. People just look at what happens recently instead of looking at what happened in the past decade. And in a sense, I also believe we're like in the golden generation of football. So but like, okay, so here's, here's another level to what I'm going to bring up. Do you feel Messi's given up on this tournament? I watched him last game, even before the first whistle went in, during the national anthems. He didn't look like he wanted to be there. He looked stressed out. Yeah, I don't he looked know. like he just was like, you no, know, you know, this isn't my problem anymore. You know, he looked like everyone is relying on him. Everyone is looking at him, and the stress is getting to him. Yeah. But you're Lionel Messi. Of course, everyone's gonna be looking. And not at only you. that, look. it's like there's probably a lot of stuff going behind the scenes. Look, like, and look at this. 2014 World Cup, the pressure on Messi wasn't even close. No. This World Cup, there's so much pressure. While when you look at 
Portugal's World Cup campaign this year. Yeah, I agree. No, barely any pressure. I agree with that. But should these top players not be able to handle pressure? You would think that this I mean, pressure, he's had pressure should be normal. All his life, but I mean, you look at Messi. He's had more scrutinies because of the South American Cups, right? Yeah, they go to the final what back to back years and losing penalties to Chile. And Chile's mm-hmm. not even in this World Cup, so they are. So they are the reigning South American champions. Though. Yeah, which is weird. Somehow they're not. In the <laughs> yeah. World Cup, yeah. Anyways, uh, Lucas, maybe, you can maybe I'm saying there were, there obviously was pressure on Portugal because mm-hmm. they're I they mean, won the Euros, but like there's not as much pressure as on this Argentina squad, and when there's when there's people looking at every little thing you do, yeah. Yeah. it's, it's going to get to you, no I matter ju- who you are. <laughs> I just think this Argentina squad should not have to rely on him. No, I'm, yeah. placing, I'm placing 75% of the blame on the surrounding teammates, coaching, staff, everyone. But 25% has to go on Messi because you know, he does wear that captain's armband. Honestly, I feel like... Know, he does yeah. lead his country. the team around That's him fair. and the, t- the manager, and they're, they're just ruining his legacy at the moment. They're not even, they're, even Barcelona. I feel like is partly ruining his legacy, but like uh, in the long in the next few years, you'll see it more in mind. I feel like he's just a, he's Barcelona a, have a, a crucial next five years. Yeah, think of their their team aging. They have to completely reinvent themselves almost. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to bring in new young talent and you know, you know change it, style of play and change coaches and mentality. You know, I mean, in a way, they could be going Man United's route. So well, well I mean, we not to the extent, into, not the extent. We won't get saying, into that yeah. because that. We are in a World Cup show yeah. right now. It's it's shocking to see that Argentina is at where they are. Yeah, I mean, you no, know, and and we we were talking. We might do an episode on Wednesday after their game to see if they qualify or not, or if they get knocked t- out. Tuesday, Tuesday, they play yes, on Tuesday. Tuesday. We're going to do an episode on Wednesday. Oh, okay, but it's like the the idea that they're at this spot. Mm-hmm. Is incredible. They yeah. were at this exact same spot in qualifying. Came down to yeah, the last game. Yeah, I mean, game. they struggled. And you know what the thing is? They did go through by Messi. If he can do it again, you know what? This man is fantastic. He handles it. But, you know, I just don't see it. Yeah, well, I don't see Argentina going through. I was just going to say, well, what are your guys' thoughts on Argentina currently? I don't see yeah. I what, don't what do you see, see the future through, yeah. of Argentinian football? Do you see yeah. it going down or up? Yeah, let us know what you guys think. I actually, I, well, if I was like the Argentinian mm-hmm. coach or president or whatever, I would almost forget about Messi and focus on Dybala and say, this Any is party. my man for... Yeah, I mean, to be this fair... Is, these are my guys for the future. Let's build a team and The most unfortunate them. part about this, this is likely Messi's last World Cup. Yeah. And it's being tarnished. He has his 31st birthday today, so, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And he's it's a stressful birthday. Yeah, it's not a good Probably. one. Like... Imagine I mean, having a birthday and then you're just like you have he, all this. He very well potentially could be at the next one. I mean, thirty five. He's not. He's gonna retire if things go really badly. Yeah, depending I mean, on that's, how that's fit he is thing, too. Yeah. I think honestly, he's probably gonna retire. Just too much stress. But look at look at Ronaldo. He's still going. He's thirty four. Well, there isn't as much pressure on him. Like yeah, because he's scoring goals and he has a Euro twenty sixteen. Twenty fourteen, when they didn't do well, he was injured. So yeah, yeah. I I get what you're saying, and I, I understand how you're trying to make it reason, but. I just see, you see the name Messi, and you go, this guy is what he is. He should be able to do it. I'm just saying we shouldn't look at Messi at his latest moment. Fair enough. You should you look at look, his entire career. Yeah. Fair enough. Because he's done. Quite, just sorry to break off. Why did you not bring your Messi Argentina jersey? I don't know. I, wore, we, uh, I think I wore it yesterday. Oh, my or goodness. But okay, we talked a lot about Argentina. Yeah, right? and Let's, we got to give credit to Croatia. What a performance! That's, I think they're the best midfield in the tournament. Oh, I, yeah. That, yeah. and I know you love Luka Modric. Luka Modric, he's a not my favorite man. guy, but you know what? He's doing the business. That, right that now. leads uh, the question: Do you guys think Luka Modric is the best midfielder in the world? He doesn't. I do, and plenty of people all over the internet do. Lucas, do you think so? Oh, funny thing about Luka Modric: I was at work today. It was a Luka Modric at work. <laughs> I wish, <laughs> but I was in a. And uh, I work at a grocery store, so nice. I, I was in an aisle with two of my managers, mm-hmm. one's El Salvadorian and another is Serbian. And uh, uh, one of the El Salvadorian one, he's like, like looks at me, he's like, Luka Modric, because my name's Lucas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like the other guy's like, what are you saying? And he's just, he's just calling me Luka Modric. And yeah, I don't know, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I think he's the best midfielder. I, th- I thought I had a better story. I'll, I'll, I'll give the best midfielder in the world to his teammate, uh, Tony Cruz. I don't, I don't know about that. He's, he's, he's fun, phenomenal. I think he has all the same skill levels, plus a little bit of toughness. 
But I think Luka Modric is at flair, man. And he's, well, he's he's one ugly guy though. No, I, he's, it doesn't oh, matter how ugly you are. He's yeah, one I mean, ugly look, man. really, I'm gonna bring that body shaming someone. Yeah, come on, come man. on man. It's like Frank. Ribery. Did you see the goal? I mean, it's like Frank Ribery. He just I, I do <laughs> think Tony Cruz is Germany's current best player, but we'll get to Germany yeah. in a minute or two. <laughs> we, There's another talking point. There. Yeah. <laughs> How impressed were you by Nigeria's performance against Iceland? First half, that first half was awful by yeah. both teams. I couldn't barely watch that game. It was a nice goal. Until the second half. Second half was good. I thought Nigeria were, I think, I think they've almost underperformed this tournament. Oh, yeah. I mean, some I think, teams have. I mean, there was hype going on over, like, coming into the tournament for them. But I think it's just they aren't living up to the players' expectations. They're the youngest almost. team at the tournament, though. Yeah, and, you know, that that's good. You know, that, that's good for the next tournament to come, but... They, why are they not performing right now? Because you know? they're very young. Their goalie's 19. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> but right now, I mean, some of Nigerian fans think they need to keep wearing the green kit. Green and white yeah. kit. They're, they're thinking, yeah. if we if we wear this kit all tournament, we're going to win the World Cup. Yeah, but let's do it. I wonder if they're going to wear it next game. Let me check. Are they the home? Yeah, they're the home team. So, so. They'll wear so it. cool. We'll, so, so so let's talk Let's talk about the two upcoming matches. And yeah, so Croatia play Iceland. Yeah. And obviously, Iceland need to win, too. Mm-hmm have a chance to go through. And that's the same with Argentina when they play Nigeria. Do you think Croatia will arrest any players? For sure they will. So Iceland maybe have a chance? You know? uh, I'm going to go with a 1-0 win to Croatia. So I, I feel like Iceland's been very defensive, but I mean, it makes sense with the side like theirs. Yeah. So. And their goalie's been good, yeah. I feel. Cro- Croatia's defense has been really impressive. Yeah, so. yeah. So yeah, Lovren's been real good, honestly. Since yeah. the, the second half of the season, he's been really good. Since Virgil van Dijk joined him, honestly. Yeah. Virgil's like, I'm going to teach you some stuff. Yeah, <laughs> really. Oh, Lovren still makes his mistakes, well, but yeah. this World Cup, he hasn't made any no, yet. So that's yet. great for Croatia. Maybe he'll make one against Iceland. Apparently, he said that he thinks this team is better than the team that made the semifinals in 1998. I kind of yeah, agree. Honestly. I see this team I, as I can potential. see this like, team making the semifinals. It, it all depends on draws. Yeah. It yeah, depends no on who doubt. they get drawn against. You know, if they come, come against a major team early on, you know what, unfortunately, I don't see them going through. But I could also see them having upsets and, and going through. You know, it's in a sense, in the you can say they beat a major team in Argentina. Yeah, so, and they beat them comfortably. They, like, they've got a lot of quality all around the pitch. All right, predictions. Who's going through? That's the million-dollar question right I'm there. I'm going to go with Argentina. Lucas, who do you have? I'll go with Argentina. Uh, fine, I'll go Nigeria just because. Because <laughs> the, the, if we're in the Celtic, you know, green Nigeria. Sure. Maybe. No, I, I, <laughs> no, but just, just, I, mean, I, just, I just don't have faith in Argentina right now. For some weird reason, going into the tournament, we're like, yeah, you know, we can see them. You had them in the final. That's yeah. true. But now we're going... Are they even going to make it out of the group stages? There's always one major team that doesn't. Well, you could say the same about... Oh, no, they're not in the next group. Uh, but yeah, that would have been a good transition. Yeah, that would have been a really good one. So uh, what's the next group? Next group, Group B, which has Brazil, Switzerland, and Serbia with Costa Rica. You know what? Yeah. I really like Switzerland. Switzerland. I've enjoyed okay. them so far. Yeah. After that first half against Brazil, I, they, I, first half against Brazil, I did not like them. Second no, half, yeah, though, okay. after that, they've been impressing me. Mm-hmm. There is talks of Shakiri and Grant Shaka being suspended for two games. Yeah, due to controversial goal celebrations, ever. I don't really. So. I, I I honestly thought they're doing the Wakanda thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? what oh, against the Wakanda celebration, I think. Oh no, actually, uh, it's actual no. politics. Oh yeah. wow. I mean, I don't think that I don't think they will get suspended. No. But I think it's a weird little talking point. I, I don't mind Switzerland. I think I think they will advance in this group. Oh yeah, Serbia has to beat Brazil. Yeah, and I think Brazil, in after the ninetieth minute of that last match, Brazil I think started playing like Brazil. Mm-hmm. I saw mm-hmm. a lot of flair, a lot of attack. Douglas Costa is out, I believe, for the next game. Oh really? I believe. So I mean, don't hold me on that, but I believe. Neymar so. had a brilliant rainbow, so. <laughs> That was nice to see. I Neymar's, feel like he Neymar's really, really bugging me this tournament. I just same, honestly. I feel like things changed once Firmino came on the field. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love, I like Bobby. Would you look at Bobby's that? Good. The Liverpool players are game changers. Yeah, you, except, except for most of the I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but Firmino, he won the header that led to the yeah. Coutinho goal, yeah, and then down. he blocked the pass that led to the second goal yep. they had. I. <laughs> I think Brazil are going to start playing their tournament now. I hope so. Um, yeah, I have them winning it. Yeah. So I think they will. The only thing I want to ask for is Neymar. Stop. Stop falling Stop. down so easily. Come <laughs> You're on, You're ruining man. our game. Like, 
Not, not, not even just falling down easily, but going out there bit. looking for attention. Like, the way I look at it, he wants to be like a Ronaldo kind of like poster boy. Yeah. And it's like, listen, listen, man. No. <laughs> yeah, that, that, his aftermatch tears. What, what are you doing? What, are you really crying like, because someone hit you? Come on, dude. No, no. He's, he was crying because of the journey he it took him to become where he's at. No, I think because after the injury he had, he thought he was gonna miss the World Cup, and then he got to this point. It's still weird to me. But listen, listen, Neymar. All we can say, all I can say, he's a very emotional player, and it's kind of sometimes weird to see, but you know, that's I don't mind players expressing themselves. Yeah. honestly, yeah. I, just like, don't, I don't like. I don't like when there's like people. I remember there's a pundit in England recently. Mm-hmm. He said like. Men be men, or something like that, or yeah, that's with, that's, that's weird. But I don't know, I just don't like seeing fake tears. I don't think fake, it was fake. Oh, but, come on. Oh, I don't know. I didn't no, see I mean, it. He yes. knew that cameraman was going around. He's like, okay, give me the spotlight. Maybe you're right. No, I just feel like he goes down a little bit too easily and reacts too well, much because he knew you know cameras would go to Coutinho or go to, to uh, Firmino or, mm-hmm. or whoever. He's like, no, I, I want these. This is my Brazil squad. But, you think Brazil for sure going through? Yeah, comfortably. I'll put them through, yeah. yeah. You don't think they'll lose to Serbia? I don't think so. I think Serbia will have a good physical battle with them. Like I think they'll they'll put Neymar through the pace <laughs> I again. Think, yeah, Brazil gets first, and Germany gets second in their group. They, they're going to play in the round of 16. Yeah, yeah fantastic So that's game. exciting. To, uh, Do you get 7-1? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> for Brazil. Think, think, think of how amazing that would be. I don't see it happening. <laughs> no, but. I don't either. Do you, We'll get to what I, I have something to say about Germany, but we'll get to okay. that. But Costa Rica, they're they're, they're done. They're out yeah, of they're gone. Adios, Kaylor. I don't like Kaylor Navis. I don't like him. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's I, not. He's not. I think goalie. he's a good keeper. He plays well for Real Madrid, so that's all. Because Real Madrid doesn't need a goalie. Hey yeah, man, he, he put Sergio Ramos in that. And he does the same job. I don't know. He's he's winning Champions League, so. Yeah, well, I don't, you know. I don't feel like Costa Rica <laughs> came out and did enough. No, they don't deserve to nah. go through at all. Fortunate for their country because last World Cup went so well for them. Yeah, but I think but, that was just the yeah. little dream moment. Yeah. So who does Ser- Serbia plays Brazil? Yeah. So yeah, I, I see Brazil beating that, beating Serbia. And then Switzerland yeah. play Costa Rica. I, yeah, I think Switzerland will go through. I think they'll have enough attacking quality. I think Shakir is playing really well right now, and I think finally there I hear rumors coming out of England. You know. Arsenal looking into him, or even uh, yeah, Liverpool were interested. Liverpool, yeah. So I mean, I think finally great, great a good breakaway de- from good, him. Yeah, I think he deserves to go. Granit Xhaka with a big goal. That was like, a wow, huge was beautiful. Goal. That was a bullet. <laughs> yeah. So he, he always pops up with those every once in a while. Then he's garbage every. every <laughs> he other plays time. good for Switzerland. So, I mean, yeah. the Swiss are happy. <laughs> yeah. Let us know what who you guys think will go through in this group. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It seems like it's going to be Brazil and Switzerland, but you never know about it's Serbia. It's going to sound yeah. weird, but I really like the names of the Swiss players, like Shakiri and Shaka. Well, it's like, whoa. They're not even Swiss. Not even I know, Swiss, but it's yeah. like, are, like, his first name is Jerdan. Like, like Shakiri had uh, the Kosovo flag on his boots. Yeah. It's oh, like, wow. Okay, this is very political You're, you're, you're playing for, your, for another country. Maybe go, don't do that. Maybe well, don't he was play born for in Kosovo, though. Wow. I know, but... Maybe don't do that in the World Cup. Well, I mean, you know? to be fair, Kosovo just became a legitimate UEFA member. Yeah. And there's a lot of tension, like a lot of history with Kosovo and Serbia. Yeah, there's a lot. So, that, that, so. That's why that's part of why the celebrations and everything yeah. was, mm-hmm. was uh, not does, deemed appropriate. Does Switzerland play Serbia next? No. Yeah. They just oh. played it. Oh, my days. I got to pay attention more. Did you watch the game? Yes, I, I did. I saw Shakira's goal. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's move Moving on to on. the next group. You got the Germany jersey beside yeah, Liam. My, my for super good old one that's fake as anything. Yeah, we'll put that up there. Yeah, we got Group F: Mexico, Germany, Sweden, Korea. This has been now. This is an interesting an group. Outstanding group. Let's now, go. Let's go through Mexico and Korea let's quickly. Let's do it. Now, let's do it. First of all, I want to say Mexican fans, brace yourselves because that next game is big. You lose Shoot. that game, you're gone. Actually, you're, maybe. I, yeah. it's I don't know why he's calling out Mexico fans. He's been calling them out all day. What has Mexico done to you? I mean, I've seen some Mexico fans who think they're going to win the World Cup. I'm like, relax. Okay, you're getting there, but, just, you know, take it. They're, one, being, they're being prideful of their country. One having, game at a time. Standing Be excited, so but just don't go as far as we're winning the World uh, I'm Cup. I'm sorry. During our prediction match, you had Poland going to the quarterfinals. No, that was me. I, I, both of actually, you Actually, I think I did too. You, know, you had them out of the round 16. Yeah. You had Camille Glick coming in and just changing the entire tournament. He's played 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah so... <laughs> Anyways, I yeah. don't know. it's great to see them happy and all, but it's like I've I've seen some Mexican fans have kind of little, I've gotten annoyed. It's like, oh, we're winning the World Cup now. It's like so. Let's okay. Well, let's talk yeah. about Mexico. Let's talk about how good they've been. Yeah. They've been great. Chucky. Yeah. 
uh, Chucky's been outstanding. <laughs> I think there was rumors of him going to Barcelona. Yeah, the, his dad talked about the, yeah. lots of teams interested and in him. And rightfully so, he's been outstanding. And yeah. then La Yoon's been great too. Yeah, they've been young. They've mm-hmm. been attack-minded. They've been very good counter-attacking yeah. team. Um, it's been great. I, I was very happy to see Chicharito score. Yeah, yeah, yeah they've so. been quick. You know, they they have purpose when they go forward. I feel some teams when they go forward, they're they're looking for pass, 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 pass. When Mexico's like, the goal's right there. Yeah, let's go. You know, very good on the counter. So yeah. Yeah, press maybe press that's press all well. these years of their culture building up is mm-hmm. into this tournament. <laughs> yeah, because they have talented technical players. Yeah. Oh, very much Just so. None of them have made it to the top level and since I, uh, maybe Rafa Marquez. I think wow. their team. I think they're they're like the La Liga in Mexico, Liga MX, wherever. Yeah, I think that's improving. You know, with MLS, a lot of players mm-hmm. are going to play there. Uh, Vela for LAFC, he's at the World Cup, and he's yeah, doing so. brilliant. I mean, what I like to see, I like that they're repping North America really well. Yeah, as they are. like as North American soccer fans, I guess to an extent. Oh, I wouldn't say USA fans. <laughs> no, but changed. we're from North America, and it's nice to see a North American team do well. I mean, is the United countries <laughs> isn't Costa Rica technically North American, or is that it's... no, that's Central America? Okay, yeah. So go Mexico. Great. Well, why did I just? <laughs> I was kind of bashing Mexico. I'm so like, go bipolar, Mexico. Like, <laughs> I like I like to see a North American team do well. So. No, but uh, I I think Mexico have quality to yeah. go through. I, I really like I mean, what I'm watching. I do have them second in the group. Yeah. So. but they need to step up against Sweden yeah, no because it's not. They don't have a free ticket yet. No, no, well, no, no. Before we get to Sweden, let's talk about South Korea. Yeah. A bit of a shame for no, them. Definitely. No, definitely. I, I, they don't have enough. They have one player, Hyunmin Son, the Tottenham man. Should we talk about him? Like his. Well, let's talk about his goal it was first. So sa- I saw him cr- pictures from crying. Yeah, the crying. Him. I was that. like, this is so sad. He yeah. had an outstanding goal though. Oh, that was yeah. beautiful. It was a rocket. brilliant goal. And, but a little bit of drama coming out after. Yeah. yeah. Um, with Hyung Hyungmin Son. That's a good pronunciation. I like that. I tried my best. I don't think <laughs> I did. <right> <laughs> So you, you might have seen those pictures of them crying. Yeah. I don't think it's just because they got eliminated. So if he doesn't, there's the Asian games this summer. Mm-hmm. Korea are in it. There's football in it, obviously. And I think there's an Asian cup in January. Yeah. Oh my if Young Min Sun doesn't win a gold medal in either of those, his football career might be halted for 21 months. He might, because... Ha- in Korea, you have to serve for the military mm-hmm. for I think around two years mm-hmm. before you turn twenty eight. Yeah, he's t- turning twenty six soon, mm-hmm. and if he doesn't win a gold medal, then he, at the end of the season with Spurs, he's gonna have to go join the military. Yes, which is so weird. Yeah, but I, I I don't think it's gonna happen. I think there'll be some kind of loophole they find or something like that. Cause I don't know. <sighs> Because why Kore- why would the Korean Republic do that? They're their star player. Well, because they have some military program since the Korean yeah, War. Yeah, I know, mm-hmm. but uh, I I don't want to sound like I'm a expert in the yeah. Korean military. I, I, yeah, none of us are. Doesn't sound a little silly, but can he get like an English citizenship? Because he, well, he, he plays in England, so it maybe be, it's like it would be about. I, I mean, don't know how long it would take, but. Could he, could he it takes like, a long time. Yeah, okay. Because you usually have to like live in that country for a certain amount of years. Yeah, at least sure five has, years, and never maybe mind. it's ten years. Yeah, even. but I mean, I don't, I don't see, I don't see him going into the military. But well, I also don't see them winning a gold medal either. Think, so it's going to be up in the air. I think it's his family. I, I don't know if his family still lives in Korea or not. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't know if if because it's probably like a lot of pride in going to the military. Mm-hmm. Well, of course, but I think it's also a lot of pride in being. One of the world's best and like, footballers, you know? Like, every man has to go to the military, yeah. obviously. Unless you can get exempt, obviously. Mm-hmm. Like I said, you have to have a, win something amazing for your country. So, like, yeah. a gold medal at the Asian Games, an Olympic medal, mm-hmm. or the South Korea team in 2002 making the run yeah. to the semifinal. They all got exempt. So yeah. it, it, do, you, do you think if he won a Premier League title, could that do anything or no? I don't know. Maybe it could. I don't know. It's, it's I, don't a mass- ta- I don't see Tottenham winning a Premier no, League title, but, but yeah. Maybe the Champions League. <laughs> FA Cup. <laughs> Thing is, like, if he's if he has to go serve military, because other footballers in the past have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even, none has been as big as Sun, yeah. but they have. And yeah. they do have military teams where they play in the leagues, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's an interesting talking point. It'd be it, such a shame losing yeah. him. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see what happens in the next few years and see... If he gets out of it or if he has to go, you know, you, 
I guess you can't say no to the military in a sense, you know? Well, no more. Unless you're, unless you're Muhammad Ali, because he did that. <laughs> well, he got sent to prison, though. I mean, yeah, but he did say no. So We'll, I, we'll find out more yeah. after January, yeah. after the yeah. Asian Cup, so... Yeah. Well, let's talk about the other two teams in the group. What drama, man. Yeah. Who saw that? I mean, okay. who, first off, who saw Germany also struggling in, in the World Cup, you know? Maybe some German supporters? History? Yeah, they yeah, weren't the so winners, they weren't yeah. they weren't so hot at Euro 2016 either. So I mean, they, mm, they still got to the semis. Yeah, yeah. no, they got to the quarterfinals. Quarters? Who did they lose? Who, France. Who, who did France lose win against in the semis? <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Google. Check. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep talking about Germany. So they went down first with a goal from was it Toivinen? Yeah, yeah, Toivinen yeah, scored. Toivinen, Scored and I'm, it was a very nice goal, a great chip. Mm-hmm. And I, I posted a tweet that with that goal, his transfer value went up by like fifty percent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, was it was a semi final? Oh, it was. Yes. Richard. Oh boy, we can't argue with him. He's always right. <laughs> he's the stats man. He's got a laptop. So, <laughs> well, no, but not only, he doesn't need a laptop. He's just right I by didn't. himself. He's, <laughs> he's got a football computer in his head. Yeah. It's all the football man. We don't. <laughs> no. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Germany. And yeah, okay, so again. let's focus on Sweden for a few minutes here. I know yeah. we were talking about Germany. Let's, let's switch over to Sweden. How good do they look? I thought they've looked all right this tournament. I not, think, yeah. Not too exciting, but not too awful. I mean, they've got good they're balance. They're getting results, there. kind of. Uh, so, I mean, they're kind of. to the red card? Sure. Well, I mean, the only thing with Sweden, I feel they're maybe missing that. Uh, Big Zlatan, striker. Zlatan factor. <laughs> but I think they're playing well without him, so that's good. I think they're going to be very disappointed in John mm. Gadetti. I think he had a, yeah. lot of, a lot of expectations coming into this tournament, and he's underperformed a lot. Yeah. Subbed on, made some poor decisions. Yeah. Um, but another I think, poor decision. I think they need to Boateng. focus on just finding an next striker, you know? The Boateng getting a second yellow yeah. sent off. Huge. Not the worst thing in the world. Well, yeah, what Huge. happened? Huge. And they still have Hummels, so it's the easy replacement in a way. Is it? I think I think Hummels has he, degraded these last he, season or two. I Look so. how slow I he is. I thought he was great for Bayern, for except for the Champions League game. But he I feel like Son apart. could rip Hummels apart. Yeah, he got torn apart. But they also still have Kimmich, who I thought was excellent. In the I think game. Joshua Kimmich is their next really bright player. I really yeah. like him. I like how he plays. But I mean, I still like I said earlier. I think Tony Cruz, even though this is probably his poorest game, and ages i think he misplaced six passes but to say like from for him six that's passes. like that's, <laughs> that's not it. a lot of money <laughs> no, for him it is a terrible game you know i know what you're saying yeah but. but i mean he came up clutch in the end with a beautiful free kick but let me get on this round about sweden sure sweden the country's probably great never visited <laughs> would like to one day you but gave us henrik larsen so you're always thank you for ikea forever. okay <laughs> but what happened in that game Germany have 10 men. You have 11. Yeah. If you win this game, you yeah. knock out Germany out of the World Cup. Yep. So Where's your fight? You park the bus. Yep. Push deep. Instead of taking the ball to the corner, mm-hmm. you t- try to take a shot mm-hmm. and mess it up. That's John Gudetti. Yep. There, another substitute gave away that foul because they're sitting so deep mm-hmm. against 10 men. Because... I don't get it. Why, why aren't you would trying? You, yeah, why would you not push and try to get Germany to get pushed yeah. back? Germany didn't even spring on another center no, back. No, no, I know. Well, I'm going to put blame on Sebastian Larsson. He was the left-handed side of the wall, and when it was kicked out to uh, Tony Cruz, he went and turned his back. It should have never gone into that point. Uh, but a 95th yeah. minute free kick, I'm sorry. I'm blocking that with whatever oh, part yeah, of no my doubt. body that gets there. I am diving in front of that ball, you know? And he, he goes and turns his back and yeah. goes right around him, boom. There's your World Cup potentially over. Germany's potentially starts right there. Like maybe I shouldn't talk about professional footballers because I've n- yeah. not been in their shoes. No, but, but... you but you you have a passion for the game and that you, you can see things and you can read the game and you'll... No matter what level you play at, I think if you have a soccer brain, you have a soccer brain. But I mean, Germany. I mean, there was some seeing, uh, right? them, some good moments for them. Marco Royce played well. Yeah, I'm really Marco happy Royce for Marco Royce. Marco Royce did very well. Yeah, I think he's probably been the player of the tournament. If Germany, whoa, 
Player of the tournament for Germany. Oh, for oh. Giles to say, <laughs> he's, 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 like, he's player of the tournament. <laughs> he's played a game and a half. Oh, I think he's been doing no, real well. I mean, I think next game they need to start him. Start him. Yeah. I think put in Brand instead of Werner. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not if, impressed with Werner. No, yeah. either am I. But if Germany don't go through, how stupid will Joachim Love look without bringing Leroy Sané? That's what they're I think, missing. I think he's gone after this. Then they're, they're missing out. such a he creative midfielder. Punch. I mean, there's some managers who might be out, and they just signed new contracts. So, so one yeah. thing I want to note as well. Another sorry, another manager is going to be gone is Didier Deschamps. He will leave. He'll be kicked out of France. If and, they don't win the World Cup, yeah. Or, okay, oh, yeah. yeah. And, and Zidane will step right in. It'd be a brilliant appointment. All right, but about the after kickoff, uh, I'm not sure what the context was, mm-hmm. but the Ger- there are some Germany coaches after kickoff just like celebrating like pointing towards the Sweden coaches or something, kind of like celebrating towards them. Mm-hmm. Mocking them, yeah. Yeah, and that didn't hold well. And I don't know, maybe karma will bite you're, Germany soon. You're Germany, and you're celebrating a 95th minute win to survive the World Cup against Sweden. Yeah, and then a bunch Come of on, guys. the coaches and players are just swarming them like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you'd be angry if someone celebrated right in oh, front of, of course, you. Oh, of course, yeah. I think... Um, I think the Germans need to really wake up. Oh, yeah. I have them winning this tournament, and I think they have potential to win the tournament still, but they need to wake up and go, hey, this is the World Cup where we need to play. I feel like some, the Bayern Munich arrogance kind of translates here. Bayern Munich are in a real mess right now. You know, there's a lot of drama going on behind the scenes. Like, the, I think Bayern Munich, they're, they think they deserve everything towards this, them. This, oh. guy's, this guy's got some problems, too. Yes, but we'll yeah, get, we'll get to that. that. <laughs> like, I think Bayern Munich... They think like everything should be handed to them. They deserve mm-hmm. yeah. Everything. Especially in Germany, at least you know they feel every every trophy there's to be one should just be mm-hmm. theirs. You know. And when things don't go their way, they pull hissy fits. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then things like this, seeing that what the coaches are doing, <clears throat> doesn't really impress me. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't think all of Germany's like that. I think no. more just Bayern no. Munich. But I, then again, I might be just talking out of my butt. <laughs> I. Uh, I think I think Germany will go through. Yeah. But I think they need to really say how do we want to play? What's our formation going to be? What's our style of play going to be? Cuz I think there's a lot of unanswered questions right now and they they're not they don't look like they're at all prepared right now. Any any predictions for the upcoming matches in that group? Uh, I think I see. What what are the up- up- upcoming so matches? So Mexico play Sweden, Germany play Korea. I see Mexico drawing Sweden. Same. And I see Germany winning. I feel I see Germany winning three 0 two nothing Mexico, four nothing Germany. I hope Korea can do something, but I, I I think I hope Germany can just turn it on and go. Yeah, you have them winning it. <laughs> Here comes the German X factor, mm-hmm. you know. That could be another team that we predicted in the final. Yeah, yeah. yeah who knows. Yeah. Potentially, all three of us could have no teams in the final, you know? Like, yeah, that'd be really weird. I'm a, I'm a Croatia, Russia in the final. Or just <laughs> England coming out of nowhere. <laughs> England. It's coming Phil, home. Yeah, it's Phil, coming home. Phil Jones lifts the trophy. I can't. I, that's the moment I want to see. Him and Jesse Lingard. You want to talk about England? Yeah, yes. We're going there, yeah. It's coming home, lads. It's coming home. Let's go. <laughs> it's not. Don't worry. <laughs> Six the one world, victory over Panama. Great, which, good for you guys. I think I think we could put put together fifteen guys to go take on Panama. Harry Kane with the best hat trick I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Two penalties, one that hit the back of the <laughs> Jesse shoe. Lingard with another banger. Oh my god, I love Jesse Lingard. I can tell. <laughs> guys. So far, you said you love Jesse Lingard and you love who you love all the the coaches in the World Cup. You found them very attractive. <laughs> You, no, you said no. all of, everyone on Morocco looks oh, happy. I mean, Morocco? it's a nation that produces very good-looking people. There you go. You so, heard well, it here first. Isn't even Moroccan. Oh, yeah, my He's like days. Dutch, isn't he? I don't know. Anyway, so let's, let, let's continue with uh, this group. Oh, yeah, so England, you know, as you'd expect, would beat Panama. Yeah, comfortably. And Belgium and pre- cruised by Tunisia. Mm-hmm. Comfortably. Here's something interesting. England and Belgium tied on points. Mm-hmm. Tied on goal difference. Mm-hmm. Tied on goal, goals against. Tied on goals four. Yep. Except... Fair play. Yeah. 
Belgium have more yellow cards. Oh, my England. God. So, England are currently topping the group. That's awesome. And England played Belgium could, next. Could you imagine it was a nil-nil draw and England go top because of that? <laughs> like, But there's there's now a if bunch a, of... If England go top, they have the potential of playing Japan. But we're going to talk about that group in no, a second. There's, but... there's a lot of people that are saying now that they're going to folk... They're, there's... I think it's Belgium going to say they're actually going to try to like not win the game, huh? So they can go against Japan or something like that. Or? I think both teams will definitely rest their players. Yeah, I I think Belgium will. I don't see England doing. I it. don't know. It's like one of those things where you want to win every game. It's um, like, but I don't think you can rotate the England squad that much. Harry Kane will sit. Yeah. Vardy will start, which I'm okay with. Or maybe even Rashford. I mean, oh, I, will, I, will, I, will, I think I think maybe both of them will start up front. Rashford. I, I hope Phil Vardy. Jones starts. <laughs> He scores might. Own goal. Or, or Cahill, oh, maybe Cahill will. Or John Stone scored two goals for... Uh, I don't care. Hey, Still get him out of the call. team. Get him out of the squad. The, there, there was a guy game. on Twitter... I hope Alexander Arnold There was starts, a guy on Twitter. Yeah. He said, if uh, John Stone scores a goal, I'm going to get a tattoo of him. What What was that reaction for? Waterfall on my nose. Oh, oh I, anyways, thought, I thought you were and then, flabbergasted with something <laughs> I said. I think some former uh, England international responded, okay, I'm going to pay for your yeah, tattoo. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, this is brilliant. Yeah. And I don't, I'm, I'm really liking the English team. I mean, they've got good swagger to them. They're playing well. And let's I, judge them after they play Belgium. Yeah. And I know they're not going to be full teams playing, yeah. but let's judge them after they play Belgium. They haven't played a big team yet. But it's about time the English supporters got some excitement out of their national team. <laughs> they, so, they scraped by Tunisia. I watched the game. I thought Tunisia were actually fairly decent. Panama, whatever. I don't know, that's more like a friendly. <laughs> good almost. on you guys. You scored a goal. Yeah, they very yeah. happy. Yeah, so good, good for you guys for making the tournament now. Yeah. Pack your bags and get yeah. home. It's it it harsh. There's a canal waiting for you home. <laughs> but, you know, those goals, that goal by Panama, it's what you love to see in the World Cup. Yeah. Just fans being yeah. really happy being there. Yeah, fair enough. They're enjoying their, their time there, yeah. I mean, you guys know, like, all that propaganda about Russia before the World Cup? Like, all that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard nothing bad. Honestly, Except yeah. for a beer shortage, which I heard <laughs> isn't even real. No, because the beer shortage is FIFA's fault. Oh, okay. Because Budweiser is the official sponsor of the World Cup. Only Budweiser can be sold during match days. Oh. And Budweiser's not that popular in Russia, so none of the bars were carrying it. They had to all special order it in. Wow. So now they're like, we didn't order enough. No, actually, I want to talk. What do you guys think about Belgium right now? Are they living up to expectations finally? It's too, no, it's it's, too early. Yeah, it's too early to say. I think they're looking good. I think Lukaku and Hazard mm-hmm. are looking real good. I'm very impressed well, with Lukaku, actually. Yeah. Um, it shows what can, he can do with some... Uh, Delivery. So, okay. So Lukaku is scoring most of their goals, mm-hmm. and then Hazard calls him out. <laughs> what? So, yeah, no, Hazard. No, he called him out in the first after half the, of first, the first game. Yeah, he goes. He's not playing the full ninety minutes. He's only playing to get goals. Um, yeah. as a goal scorer, what is his job on the field? So he goes like, would you be angry the if he is, Lukaku's capable of like providing goals as well? Mm-hmm. Do you want him not to score? Do you want him to take him out of the penalty box where he's most effective? But I mean, go on Hazard for maybe noticing that and but, u- using sorry, his voice. But is creating goals not Hazard's job? Hazard That's can do what both, he's there for. I mean, you want your whole team to work together, right? So. I don't know. I, I, think, I thought that was very... I, I think what Hazard weird. was probably trying to say is, hey, I want you to do maybe more instead of just waiting for the right pass and whatnot. Like, I know thank you I, for scoring, but maybe... Work with the team a little bit more. I, I if it was me being criticized by a teammate, I'd go, "Hey, I'm stepping up here. I'm scoring the goals. Next time you can do." But it, maybe you know? this says something about Lukaku. You know, maybe this is why he isn't as prolific for United. Maybe I mean you. You don't know. I think I think he's another one of the Mourinho system that's not that's failing him. You know. I think he had a good year though. He scored a lot of goals. He's okay. Anyway, well, enough of club football. <laughs> Let's uh, move on, possibly. Yeah, sure. Nothing else to say. Any, yeah, final yeah we talked about the standings. Who's, who's topping it? Who's topping the group? I'm going to go... I don't know. I, I, I'll go England. I'm going to go with the draw next game. So who's topping the group? <laughs> you know, actually, I'm going to go England. Okay, I'll Lucas. It's a headache. Yeah, I'll go with England. I, Weird. I, I think We're Belgium are going to... Rest more than England will? Yeah. I Ho- think, hopefully uh, this game lives up to the hype of Portugal-Spain. No. no, I'm hoping, but no, no, they're they're, they're different teams. They play uh, and Thursday. also, but the, the biggest thing was that game, the Portugal Spain was a must win game. Mm-hmm. This one is not. It's it's first second. It's I, not I know. I'm just saying, difference. like it's it looks really good on paper. Well, yeah, yeah, it's exciting. It's okay. Two uh, European giants, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I think that's the podcast done, guys, right? That's all That's all of them? Is that all of them? No, it's not. <laughs> Let's talk about Poland. <laughs>
Oh, I can't wait for this. I'm I'm so ready. Okay, I'll 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 just, just I'll just go it off. I'll just you can start. I've, off, I'm man. almost I've wrote a little Why bit of thing here because it's needed. Why is we? Yeah, it's not just Why, you. It's us. Yeah, it's you too. You know, it's, I'm gonna start actually with Japan and Senegal. I'm gonna draw this out a little bit. Extend the pain. Japan. Girl, girl on Japan. Whoever saw Japan coming? I didn't. We had Japan last. I hope they do well. They are looking really Shinji good. Shinji and Honda. Yeah. Uh, Okazaki and Kagawa and Honda. Yeah, they're looking really good. They're quick on the attack, I find. I, I hope they're this year's Costa Rica. Well, I think they're more better technically. I think yeah. they, they're actually attacking. They're good. Yeah, they're, they're not a bad team. I hope um, I hope Senegal does well. Senegal oh, are, are looking good. Sadio Mane is having a good tournament. He's not scoring all the goals, mm -hmm. but he is providing and driving the midfield. And then the youngest African ever scored. Yeah, a 19 year old guy. What was his last name? McGay? I'll, Something I'll like try. that. But yeah, he scored a, actually a decent finish. You know, top corner of the net and everything. His um, name is Wag Wage. Wage. W A G U E. There it is. I, I think I pronounced it wrong. Wagi. Wage. Anyways, Senegal's looking good. Japan's looking good. Colombia is starting to look good. Who's not looking good? Why are they doing this to me, man? Not only I know. Is, not only is Lewandowski looking I know. dreadful. I know. Poland's looking dreadful. They looked awful. They're terrible. They yeah. were bad. They deserve to lose. They deserve that. Exactly. That's the yeah. truest words. They deserve to I lose. I expected a better performance from the Senegal game. I just saw the same thing basically with a little bit more oomph. I mean... Oomph. Let's talk about Colombia. James Rodriguez, influential in the midfield. Yeah. He's winning the ball. He's passing the ball. He's setting up goals. Really good. Juan Cuadrado running for days up the wing. Yeah. He is a driving force in that midfield. Doesn't help our left back. Isn't a great defender. Nope. Falcao, you know, the, the classic goal scorer. F scored his first World Cup goal today. Good on him. Yeah, fantastic captain, fantastic leader, you know. Uh, everyone respects him so much in Colombia, and he's doing the business. And uh, who am I forgetting? I feel like uh, Uribe was really good when he that, came. That midfield, like Quint Quintero, was it? Yeah, I thought Mina played well too. Yeah, yeah. Quintero kind of looks like the chubbier James Rodriguez. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Uh, let's, let's be honest. Colombia played well. Poland played like Columbia garbage. Colombia looked good. Um, it was just like Poland were slow. I found their passing wasn't good. Lewandowski was isolated up front. There was no was the system. It was like the whole team was kind of slow. There was no there pace. Was, there was no system in place to get the ball to their main when man. I, when I saw the starting line, I, looked, I, I thought, okay, this looks good because uh, the young 19-year-old Konachki is starting. He's, He's got, our, our age. Yeah, well, 21, I guess now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he has promised him, but it's like, I don't know. Nothing was clicking again. And it's like, what happened? Glick didn't click. There's your, your headline what? right there. You can't click if you are not on the field. I mean, it, it rhymes. I don't think okay, it was so even, like, even just because we were missing Glick. I mean, we couldn't string any passes together. We yeah. could we couldn't control the ball for some reason. Yeah, you guys looked really poor. And uh, you know, as a team that I had going, topping the and group, a lot of people I, are going to yeah. give Lewandowski a lot of slack because he's a star man. But how he, is he supposed to do anything with no service? He had no service. He had no teammates around yeah. him. He had no. He had one or he had two decent chances in the game. I think he should have put away at least one of them. Yeah, but and, I mean, I mean, I, I'll be honest. This, this Polish team's a little bit aging. Yeah, yeah. it's in they a, are. it's kind of in a weird transition phase. Yeah. They, I'm pretty sure they were. I don't remember if they were the oldest team in the tournament. I but think they're up there. They're up there. Yeah, their their defense is slow and old. I mean, I was kind of hoping for a little bit of magic from Blaszczykowski because he always turns up at tournaments. But I guess age finally caught up with him. Yeah. Yeah. And Piszczek's also kind of slowing so, down a bit. As two Polish fans and two Polish people, what do you want the team to do for the next tournament? Uh, well, and what do you see needing uh, to if change? If I'm being brutal know? honest, I think we might need a new coach. Well, think his well, contract totally. ends at the end of the World yeah, Cup. He's, he's gone. No yeah, I think he's what. stepping down. Well, he has. To, I mean, I don't see them renewing just because we might need some new something new. You need someone young in that that like, their there's job. Some, there's some good Polish prospects yeah. out there. Yeah. I applaud him for trying a different systems and trying a new players, but I mean, Gorowski should not be playing. Um, like, Krakowiak ever since that Denmark, was terrible. Ever since yeah, the, he was dreadful. Ever since that Denmark game, it's just been yeah. honestly, yeah, 
it's just our downfall. I saw. I mean, I saw a promise in the friendlies leading up to the World Cup. I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe we can do some. But I still have a little worry. I know this was a balanced group. I mean, each team could be each team. I didn't expect these this such bad performances. Yeah, like, I expected more well, fight and when spirit. We, when we talked about our, our predictions, you know. I had Poland topping it. Did you both? Feel? I had Poland topping it too. I had them second. Okay, so we had them going through. I saw a lot of quality driving forward, and you know Lewandowski yeah. was doing the in the first ten that. minutes though. No, 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 like before the tournament started, I said, yeah. you know, these guys are going to have a lot of quality going forward. Yeah, he'll just finish them all off. You know, like, if he's in the box, he's putting it home. He did not have a good game today. Not and yes, I know he didn't have great service and he didn't have yeah, a lot of but, chances, but he didn't take the ones where he was. He had the opportunity. My credit to Spina for saving the one shot we had from Spina got Spina went down injured four times. Yeah. He went down that's injured. Not, that was a key moment for Columbia because when got he was injured down, more times than yeah. Poland had shots they, on him. They yet. had time to regroup. <laughs> yeah. So I mean and for me what what hurts the most is like it feels like all this hard work over the last four years was twenty nothing. It just went down yeah. the drain. It was yeah. like twenty sixteen Euro was a stepping stone. Yeah. And we felt you like the World Cup that, is yeah. like, okay, this is where we maybe drive for the semifinals. Yep. This is like, yeah, I thought after Euro twenty sixteen yeah, like, we would reach our peak, but I guess that was our peak. And now people yeah. are gonna be looking, Oh, how is Poland ranked eighth? Why don't you look back at the past and how we we played well? No, I actually watched a thing about how well, Poland got ranked eighth and they actually, I don't think we should be ranked eighth, but maybe like twenty. No, but they or, actually they were they were picking and choosing different enough international friendly opponents based to get them to have wins. And they weren't playing many friendlies yeah, either. Yeah, they weren't playing many, and the ones they weren't playing were against bad teams to so get wins. That's so weird. I mean, that's not good to get your players in the right mood and to get them mm-hmm. playing well. But yeah, we didn't do enough well preparations and friendlies over the years. And some and some of our like veteran players, they haven't been playing a lot for their club teams. I mean, Pishak and Lewandowski and Jelinski. Yeah, like, Pishak, he's been... He's getting older. Boschakov, mm-hmm. he's been injured most of the season. Grosetsky barely kind of starts for Hull City. How old is, how old is Lewandowski? <laughs> he's 29, so I think he's... Okay, so he'll have maybe one He has two. one more World Cup I left. Know, I don't know if he'll want to go on. I don't know. Oh, that's a good point. You would, I mean... You would hope he has a bit of national pride and wants to yeah. go on. I think he does. I think he wants... He's, he's a fighter, so... We'll see, man. Like, I want to see him at the next World Cup, obviously. If but, you guys make that, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Actually, I'm kind of concerned about that too. I'm I mean, too. You know, you're only good, yeah, I mean, Gleek will probably not be there. Yeah, you'll have to rebuild your team a bit. Like right back will be fine. Man, you're, you're saying, oh, he's not going to be there because they're going to be 34, 30. But there, there are some players who are very old in this World Cup. Yeah, yeah but so old, I mean, I think they're not many. Not many of them are starting. True, yeah. but I mean, I mean, the, well, uh, yeah. the Egyptian goalie is 45, but he's not starting. But he's there. But he's not starting. <laughs> I guess. I mean, well, Poland do have some young quality players in the system, and just hopefully they don't get injured, and hopefully they get playing time. You know who I wish was at this World Cup? Hungary. Because I like their goalie that wears a grace fat pad. Yeah, yeah that though. was funny. I know, but I like him. I wish he was there. Yeah. It was just, you know, disappointing day to be a Polish supporter. It's like, we, there was so much hype and promise of this team. Yeah, and it's kind of just yeah like, there was. And, and goodbye. And I, I don't even think sad. it's the last four years. It's like, we waited 12 years for this, and then mm-hmm. boom. Yeah, it's, it's just the same as last war. Same as the last World Cup. Uh, one we don't, we, yeah, we don't do good World Cup. No. I mean, this this is the this is worse than Euro 2012, and that's saying a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, no, I'd say Euro 2012 is more embarrassing because we were the home. I'm, team. I'm, yeah, but I mean, we at least got two points out of that one against Russia and Greece. <laughs> we could still get three points. <laughs> last yeah, two, last, sure. last two World Cups, Poland won their last let's, game. Both let's talk. Times. Let's talk about these upcoming matches and what we see. Yeah. So Poland played Japan. All Japan need is a draw to go through. Get a draw, then, please, Japan. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to see Colombia go through. Colombia so, need to win two nil to have both Senegal and Colombia to go through. And uh, mm. po- no, wait, no, I'm saying the that. The South wrong. American teams are really burning me. I know they are. I, 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 I didn't. I did. I didn't rate Colombia too highly. Yeah, it <clears> but yeah, I like Colombia a lot. There's part of me that wanted to put Senegal above Poland, but you know, national pride. Yeah. yeah. And I thought Poland were better than they yeah. showed. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> like, but Senegal. And Colombia, that's going to be a great be match. A fantastic. I, I like Senegal. I like Japan. I don't know if I like Colombia right now. but <laughs> who, who do you have going through that group, Lucas? Let me look at the standings, and that will give us a better perspective. I I, I have Japan, Colombia, unfortunately. So you see no. Colombia beating Senegal? I do. I, I want Senegal to go through because I think they're having a little flair right now. Mm. But I think Colombia are really starting to play. I'll have to agree with you. I think yeah. Colombia is now... Got got their mojo. Is there any? Is there? There's no chance of Colombia and 
Senegal going. So here's Tunisia. what needs to happen. I tried to say it earlier, but I kind of messed up sure. my words. So Poland needs to beat Japan 2-0. Okay. And Colombia needs to beat Senegal for both Colombia and Senegal to go through. I think I'd be it, more than okay with that happening. I think I read that on Twitter, so I'm not sure yeah. if it's completely accurate. Even, even though Japan's had a very valiant tournament, I want Senegal to go through. I don't really care who goes through. I want to see teams playing the best football, yeah, yeah. most exciting, go through. And we'll, I think you're, all these teams are, except for are Poland. Are you going Japan-Senegal? I'm going Japan-Senegal. Fair enough. <laughs> Shall we re- recap every single group and teams that have gone through and teams that haven't gone through? Uh, sure. So Group A, Russia and Uruguay qualified. They're going through. We don't know yet, first or second. Can you also just state what teams are out. But Egypt, Saudi Arabia are out. Yeah. Uh, group B, Spain and Portugal are not yet qualified. Mm-hmm. They are on four points. Morocco is out, though. So fair play to them. They were okay. Go away. <laughs> Um, group C, France is guaranteed to go through, and then second place is up for grabs between Denmark and Australia. Peru is also going home. Sad heartbreak for the South Americans. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Group D, Croatia is guaranteed going through, second place is up for grabs between Nigeria, Iceland, Argentina. Right. We'll, Keep talking, just go ahead. Oh, will Messi do it, or will his bad tournament turn even worse? And uh, Group E, Brazil, Switzerland, Serbia, so all have a chance of going through. Um, Costa Rica is out, though. So, Kaylor Navas is going by as well. Join Lewandowski on the way out, kind of thing. Uh, Group F, Mexico guaranteed going through. No, no, they're not. Actually, no, they're not. Sorry, Mexico's on six. Germany and Sweden on three. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. South Korea is guaranteed to be going home. And Hung Min Son might be going to the military. We don't know. Group G, England, Belgium going through. We don't know who's first, who's second. That will come up to the last match day. Tunisia and Panama Done. going home. You I'm, mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's going to win that game? Panama, Tunisia? <laughs> Go on, Panama. <laughs> group H, my favorite group. Japan. Hey, where's Scotland, man? Hey, man, we haven't been in terms of 1998. Where's Italy? They're a junk team. And actually, they're coming back a bit. They'll be okay. They got had a terrible manager. That was what their mistake was. But my favorite group, Group H. Japan, Senegal, Colombia, all potentially going through. Robert and his boys are packing their bags and heading back to Warsaw. Well, I mean, maybe Robert's heading to Madrid. No, they're going to Warsaw. They're going to have lunch in Warsaw all together. I mean, the worst part is like... Be all sad. You have this like cup final theming match and it's like do or die and you just get blown and yeah you just blown out the water that, that's like, the biggest thing yeah. your team kind of barely showed any fight yeah that's experience. exactly it sucks problem, you know yeah. it's like, I completely it's agree it's the worst way I mean yeah, if, yeah I mean I think I'd rather lose 3-0 than go like lose in the 90th minute hey the 90th minute's a good good time yeah <laughs> check us out on Twitter Instagram yeah. Facebook and YouTube Lucas, yeah definitely you, you've had an up and down year as football fan it seems the, yeah, you really have. The, the later from the stages highs have, to lows. Yeah, a, I mean, it hasn't been great for me either, man. Not You're, just that you won. Celtic won the, the, the domestic. You guys win the title every year. We we've won the domestic trouble for two two years in a row now. Whatever. It's okay. We're selling our good player to to Southampton again, so it's okay. And then we'll buy him. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready for Stuart Armstrong. He's like great hair. <laughs> Anyways, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, actually, you know, YouTube. Just to end on, I there was actually something interesting that happened during this World Cup. What happened? Seb Blatter showed up. Yes, he did. He did. Yeah, Even he he's sh- banned from FIFA. And they're, they're investigating it yes. currently. He just showed I, I, I he's think at a game. Morocco, Portugal, he was at. Yeah. 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 He Weird. Was Seb Blatter. And, and he was like, somebody was interviewing him. He hopes that England gets the 2030 World Cup. Or he's like, I hope it's England and Ireland. Maybe a cool World Cup. Yeah. So I mean, he's not wrong there, but come on, Sep. I think England should host one soon. Sep, like, oh, that's just weird. Hey, I'm going to show up here. I'm, I'm banned, but... Yeah. Anyways. Wait, so wait, let's just... Okay. What do you guys think of this World Cup so far? I think it's been fantastic. It's, it's been good, but right now it's a little sad for me. I think so it's been I, a fantastic I need, to, tournament. I need to reset mentally. It hasn't been, you know, the... The goal affair that uh, Brazil was, mm-hmm. but yeah. I think it's been very actually. I, tactical. Think, I think the goals are starting to start it. Uh, oh, I, th- like, I think they're they're coming. Has it been, yes, has it been a single single goalless game? Yeah, that's you know? true. 
I think the goals are coming. I think the tactically has been brilliant. I think VAR adds almost like another level of depth to the game. You know, yeah. as a what if, you know. There's been some <laughs> mistakes by it, but... But there's been also some corrections by yeah, it, like well, Neymar's dive. What's your, cur- fa- cur- your uh, current favorite moment as of right now? Um, I'm going to say my favorite moment so far would have to be Croatia smashing Argentina. It was really good to see a team beating an individual. Mine's going with Germany's win over Sweden. It was a good, it was a good one, yeah. Mine's a Ronaldo free kick. Yeah. I still really like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think... I think the best moments are still yet to come for this oh, tournament. Yeah. Just like the best I, moments I are still yet to come for the 90th minute. I think that <laughs> says a lot about this tournament because so much is it's building. So right? much, so much has happened in the group stage. Yeah, we're not even in the knockout stage. Yeah. It's like, yeah. wow. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so lots of matches to look forward yeah, to. We'll definitely keep uh, you guys updated. Hopefully, you're enjoying. And best what we're part doing. about Poland being out is that we can just kind of enjoy the tournament. Yeah, yeah. you have a. <laughs> you have uh, a team I was enjoying it because we were. T- it was taking so long for us to play because yeah. we were yeah. group age. Yeah, but now we're eliminated. It doesn't mm-hmm. really matter. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, like, I'm a neutral now, but I kind of have a soft spot for England. <laughs> Jesse Lingard <laughs> and Phil Joe. Well, oh, he doesn't play. Did he yeah. play? No. No, oh, that no. sucks. But okay. Yeah. You, who do you guys think will win now after what you've seen? That's Oof. that's a really tough one yeah. to call. Do you still I, think Germany? I'll stick with my prediction just because you know I have yeah, the to be loyal I'm, to I'm that. I'm gonna be safe and go with France and be like, hey, they're gonna turn up now. Yeah, but if I can pick, are you sticking with your Brazilian yeah, Samba I'll stick boys? With Brazil. Um, yeah. if I could, as long as they if play if for me. If I can pick two teams, I don't know why, but I'm feeling uh, three teams. It's a it's a weird toss up. I'm going with Croatia, <laughs> England, or Belgium. Is I'll, that your feeling, or yeah? I just I don't know. I got a feeling they're gonna surprise people. Watch out for Mexico. And you know, if England win the World Cup, like Football's that's coming it, that's insane. <laughs> I think I think the internet's gonna break, kinda. And England will have a liquor shortage. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be like the time when the Chicago Cubs won the World Series. Yeah, after a hundred years of whatever. you know, you know what's funny? It's like England can win the World Cup and Scotland will start. They were garbage. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's so rude. <laughs> the Scottish will just slam the England no matter what. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, they won the World Cup. That's shite. It's still shite. <laughs> yeah. It was a shite performance in the local final. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Terrible accent, by the way. I it know was, that. Was not, Do I have to bleep that, that out? That was not Scottish Shaka, at all. I mean, you, no, it's late in the podcast. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we're going to wrap this one. This is a long episode. <laughs> and I mean, maybe we'll see Scotland in 2026. Hey, you with never know. There Jamaica are... and India. But. <laughs> We're growing. We're a growing squad. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Yeah. I don't know how you listening. made it this far. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, check us out on all the different social medias and on YouTube and everything. We've been having a lot of success right now. We're well, definitely building our brand and everything like that. So thank you to all of you guys. And keep sharing, keep liking all that. And comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, comment, comment like, subscribe. And subscribe. And you know, want to know your thoughts about everything, really. I know it's real cliche, but I know the, the, the subscriptions and the comments really, they help, you know. So from us in the 90th minute, I'm Liam, Lucas, and Waz. This has been yet another week in the beautiful game. See ya.